So, you're happily using your computer one day, you turn it off, and then when you turn it back on again, your hard drive isn't there. It's not detected, it's dead. What do you do? Well, if your hard drive is fairly new, it's likely that the problem is the chipboard on the back. In this case, I'm going to assume that it is, and what we're going to do is replace this chipboard with another one from the same hard drive type so that we can see if it gets the data off. So, a little bit of backstory. This particular hard drive was bought for a laptop as a secondary hard drive in a laptop. Um, it's less than a year old and then suddenly it just stopped spinning up. There was no life at all when power was connected. It's tested in different systems, same result. So, Obviously, because it's fairly new, it's very unlikely that it's mechanical wear that are co that's causing the issues. So it's not as if the motor's burnt out or something like that. Um, so we're going to assume that it's the chipboard on the back, this bit. What you have to do is source another hard drive exactly the same, and if possible, manufactured within the same month. Now, most of the time, you can just look at the serial number, um, the model number, and also the firmware number. As you can see, this one is T1 Rev.1. Um, however, in the case of this hard drive, the firmware is said to be the same, despite it not being. Basically, Samsung has done a very bad job of labeling their hard drives because the chipboards for these particular hard drives are not compatible despite them being the despite the label saying that they should be so yeah um so if this is the case as it was with mine you need to source one that was manufactured as as close as possible to your faulty hard drive um in my case, it had to be literally the same month because Samsung really didn't do a good job and I will show you why. Oops. That wasn't good. Um, anyway, yeah. This part of the chip, this is the faulty chipboard taken off the hard drive and it says ESMT. Now, on all subsequent hard drives that are apparently the same, it's a Samsung chip. Now that's the only visible evidence of this chipboard being different. Other than that, it's exactly the same. That's Samsung being rubbish at labels. Um, so I had to source one. I couldn't just buy one from the shop that looked the same because underneath it wasn't. So what I did was source one on the internet, on eBay to be precise, um, and then just swap the boards. So what you need to do is when you get your faulty chipboard, just remove each of the screws that are holding it at the back and literally just transplant the chipboard. There is nothing hard about this and in most cases it doesn't void your warranty which is very important because if you have a new drive that just stops spinning up you can once you've got all your data off you can then send it back for a warranty replacement but disclaimer um, don't take my word for it on every single hard drive or whatever I'm not responsible for if you take your thing off so don't you know I'm not responsible for what you do with your hard drives just a little disclaimer there so there we go, taking the chipboard off. Um, as you can see, this one also says ESTM. I mean, obviously that's just the chip. There could be some other things that are different, but yeah, anyway, um, just swap it out. Uh, one very important thing you must make sure is that your screwdriver isn't magnetized because obviously being a hard drive using magnetic storage it's not a good idea to have any magnets near your hard drive basically so do demagnetize your screwdriver if it's magnetized before you take the screws out or even before it gets anywhere near 
your um, hard drive. Uh, if you want, if you don't know how to demagnetize your screwdriver, all you have to do is get a strong magnet and rub the end of the screwdriver in lots of different directions, twist it, turn it, just rub it uh, like all over the place like like that. You know, pretend my hand is a magnet, just do it in all different directions, spin it, twist it and stuff, and that will demagnetize it. If you want to magnetize it again afterwards, all you do is just rub it I think you just rub it like that, um, but if that doesn't work, just go you know like that in a straight line because that, what that does is align the mo molecules basically. So there we have it. Um, my hard drive has been had its chipboard swapped. So let's see if it works. Yep, yeah, and there it is in Windows, fully working brilliant. So I've just saved myself £600 by swapping out the chipboard basically. Um, so yeah if you have a hard drive that doesn't spin up, no sign of life at all and is fairly new, try and get one that's the same, well get one that's manufactured within the same um, manufacturing date. There's usually, it usually says on the label when it was manufactured and then just swap the chipboards out and see how it goes. Good luck. <laughs> it took me a while to find the right hard drive, so that is why I suppose people buy hard drives in twos, so that they have a backup. And always remember, keep a backup. And again, I'll remember, uh, remind you of the disclaimer, do not hold me accountable for loss of warranty if you replace your chipboard or damage something, okay? <laughs> Okay, my name is Matt, and uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was in some way useful to some people out there in the world. Goodbye.